Hi everybody and welcome back to Plastic Models by a Regular Dude and part six of the Academy 172nd scale JU87 G1 Stuka final reveal. So here is the kit. Now before I get too much further, A, I want to thank Keith Short for giving me this kit to build. Really appreciate it, Keith. It was a lot of fun and uh, I enjoyed it. Subject I haven't built in years. Uh, second, we had a catastrophe. And that was my camera mount arm, my new one. I didn't have it tightened up well, and it fell. And it landed right on top of this thing. And it broke the antenna off. And it broke the tail wheel off. And it broke part of this support off. Now, uh, how that happened, I don't know. Everything else is pretty much intact. And the, all, the antenna was broken in multiple pieces, so there's no way I could fix that. The other parts, that little part back there, and the tail wheel flew off into oblivion. No idea where they are. So you're getting a damaged look at this aircraft. So there's that. Um, so my final thoughts on this kit. The kit itself, Academy did a good job with it. Everything fit really well. And I had no construction issues at all. None. And um, it, it just all fit. The uh, wing roots... I didn't have to do anything to those wing roots. They just fit super snug. As a matter of fact, I had to spread the wings just ever so slightly to get this to pop into place, and it just fit perfectly. So uh, as far as the kit goes, really nice kit. The detail's really good. Um, just I, I would recommend this kit. Now, would I recommend it to a beginner? Yeah, I think I would. It really is easy to build. And there are some really small parts, but it's not too bad. Um, small parts include these little counterweights. That one I broke off during the painting aspect, so I, I don't know what happened to it. This one was damaged during the collapse. So, but they're really, really tiny, as is this little item here. Um, but nothing really too fragile on it. Um, it just worked, worked really well. Now, this is the first kit that I used the MRP brand of paints. I have to say this isn't a paint review, but I really liked the colors and I liked the way they turned out. Now, the two colors on the upper surfaces, they're really, really close, but that's the colors it called for. And I actually had to use two different brands. I had to use MRP for one color an SMS out of Australia for the other color. So maybe the same brand, if I'd use the same brand um, for both colors on the top, they maybe have been a little more contrasty, but you know, it, it turned out good. It looks pretty good. And my weathering kind of blended it into, <clears throat> excuse me too. But anyway, it's a good kit. I used the kit decals from Academy and have to say that I am quite impressed with those. Now, when they were first put on, they were super shiny. But, um, once I got them in place, they stuck really well. Uh, I used a knife, like I usually do, just to speed things up and cut along any panel lines. And then using some decal solvents, they snuggled in really well. And, uh, because they're really thin. And they worked really good. Now, they were out of register a little bit on some of them, like this red triangle here. You can see a white edge on that side and this side, and then the red goes all the way to the edge there. So they were out of register a little bit, but it's so small, it's not really that noticeable. But everything else looked really good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's really all I have to say about it. It was a fun kit. I chose to do it with the canopy closed and uh i just it turned out nicely i like the way it turned out so 
Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Would I recommend it for a beginner? Yes, I would. I think it'd be, this is well within reason for a beginning modeler. Maybe maybe one or two really super simple kits under their belt just to learn to use the uh, materials, you know, glue, paint, stuff like that. But nothing difficult, nothing weird to have to deal with, no sanding or shimming or anything like that to get parts to fit. It just fit like it should out of the box with minimal cleanup. So, yeah, really nice kit. Recommend it. So again, Keith, thanks for uh, supplying this for me to build. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed following this uh, series of videos, um, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of this build series and you haven't, uh, think about subscribing to my channel. Watch the rest of this one and some of my other builds. And I'll put a link at the end for part one of this series. So you can uh, start at the beginning if you want and watch the rest of it. So there you go. That is the end of the Academy 172nd scale JU 87 G1 Stuka tank buster. So thanks for following along. And as always, thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and I will see you all later.